Doberman's bark, it's in their genetics. They were originally bred to be guard dogs and any good guard dog will alert their owners when they sense something is off. The problem comes when you leave for work, someone comes to the door, or your neighbor walks by your back fence and your dobie is barking their head off. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. There are some basic steps to stop your dog from barking. 6 Basic Steps to Stop Your Doberman From Barking Determine why they're barking. Reduce or eliminate the motivation to bark. Put your dog in tempting barking situations. Give correction. Reward when not barking. Repeat as necessary. These steps are the down and dirty basics. There are also additional techniques to stop barking in certain situations such as when your neighbor walks by the fence, someone comes to the door, or you leave for work. It's important to learn what other Doberman owners do to stop barking because many traditional methods used to stop barking just don't seem to work well with Dobermans. Step 1, Determine why they're barking. You likely won't be able to correct the barking issue if you don't first determine the cause. Dobermans bark for many reasons, but here are a few of the most common. Hungry or thirsty need to go to the bathroom bored frustrated separation anxiety. For Dobermans, boredom is a huge issue for them. They're a working breed and thrive when they have a fun and interesting task to perform. If they are left alone while you go to work for 8 hours, you very well may have a bored Doberman. You can usually spot this because they'll often start barking partway through the day and generally won't bark much in the first few hours after you leave. Another major issue is separation anxiety. This is especially true for young dobies under a year old. These dogs are called, Velcro dogs, for a reason, they love to stick right by your side. The telltale sign of separation anxiety is barking combined with howling. Especially a long, wailing type of howl. Step 2, Reduce or Eliminate the Motivation to Bark. Now that you've figured out why your loyal defender is barking, it's time to make the environment less likely to trigger them to bark. Take some common sense steps to reduce the urge for your dog to bark. How about you putting a screen of some sort over the fence so they can't see the neighbor as easily? Are they barking at people passing by your front window? How about some thick curtains that they can't see the street? Is there a hole in the fence where they're able to see people walk past with their dogs? Patch it. Take some extra steps to reduce the barking triggers for your dog as much as is reasonable. Step 3, Put your dog in tempting barking situations. The way this works is you purposely recreate the situations where your dog normally barks so that you'll be able to immediately correct the bad behavior or reward the good behavior. Whatever the situation is that gets your dog to bark, you need to recreate it as authentically as possible so you have a chance to correct the behavior. Step 4, Correction. When you successfully get your dog to bark with your, sting operation, it's time to give correction. You have to do it quickly after they bark so that your dobie is sure to associate the correction with the barking. Quickly get to the dog. Immediately upon hearing the bark, we will walk to the front door of the house, unlock it, and go inside to find our dog waiting. Immediately tell the dog, stop, in a firm voice. This is our, quiet command that we choose, you can pick any command to stop barking that you want such as, hush, quiet, or something else. Have him get into punishment position. Your dog needs to be able to perform these basic commands for this to work. Kneel next to him with your hand on his back with light, but firm, pressure. The idea here is not to pin your dog down, just to provide light to firm pressure to remind them you're in charge. Wait. This is like, time out, is for a child. Wait in this position for about 15 to 20 seconds and then release. This method works so well because they instinctively know what it means. It seems to work especially well with Dobermans. It's important to note that you should never be rough and all pressure you apply should be light pressure, but still firm. You should never yell at or hit your dog. This can have very serious consequences down the road. 
In fact, yelling out of pure frustration will show that you are not a calm, alpha dog, and may lead to more disobedience down the road. Dobermans are very in tune with humans and will be able to tell if you are, calm and in charge, or, panicked and frustrated. Step 5, Reward when not barking. This is where the rubber meets the road. Your goal is for your dog not to bark for longer and longer lengths of time during this sting operation. So while you are doing this, if your dog doesn't bark for a few minutes, go in and give him a treat, followed by lots of praise. Then do this after 10 minutes of no barking, then 15, then 30 minutes. Keep increasing the time your dog will have to go without barking before you go in and give a treat. This may seem like a long process but Dobermans are incredibly fast learners. Step 6, Repeat as necessary. You'll probably only have to do this exercise a few times in order for your dog to figure out what you expect of him. It took me two weekends of doing this process for my Doberman to understand that he was not to bark while we were gone. Even if you eventually need an electronic bark collar, it's important to do this method of training a few times first. Your dog needs to understand what is expected of him. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.